Honorable Prime Minister of the Government of Tunisia, Honorable President of ADB, Dr. Donadi Kabiroka, Your Excellencies, Ministers, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. Honorables, I would like to welcome you all to this high-level dialogue between ministers of finance and ministers of health from the whole continent of Africa. This conference is unique in many ways. It, bring, it is bringing together two important sectors of utmost importance for improving the quality of all people in our continent, that is Africa, the economy and the health together. As well, as we all know, African economies are small in scale and highly volatile in nature. Economic growth has been impeccable, impacted by financial, food, and energy crisis that recently encarved the world. With limited financial resources, many countries in Africa are struggling to make ends meet. In fact, the state of African economies is clearly reflected in social development indicators. Poverty is high, per capita incomes is still low, and the per capita expenditure on health and education is lowest in the world, and we all know. On the health side, ladies and gentlemen, people in Africa occupy the lowest health status in the world. Most of them pass away at a very early stage of their life. And as a result of preventable and curable diseases, such as malaria and tuberculosis, uh, these are the main causes. Those who are surviving, surviving suffer from malnutrition and poor health almost entirely in the rest of their life. Infant, the poor health status, of our people in Africa is clearly reflected in a very low labor, labor productivity and makes the continent continue to be poor. Ladies and gentlemen, the economic and health situation in Africa calls us to take action as we lead governments of Africa. That is why we are here today gathered willingly to contribute to the cause of making sure that African health improves and eventually improves the economic status of the continent. Health is top in a priority for the individual and our countries too. Everybody would like to have life long and a health life as we live in, on this world. We would like our economies to provide the means to achieve results individually and collectively as we live together in this beautiful continent. We are here to say that sustainable and accountable investment in health will add value for the money and will greatly improve the quality of our lives, our people, and our countries. There, there is ample evidence all the continent that demonstrates this is doable and is highly bene benefitable for our countries. Also, there is evidence that show 
that failing to improve health strongly through adopting and implementing prudent economic and healthy policies will cost our countries dearly in terms of both life and money and in fact both in economic terms of productivity. Following these remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I would like now to introduce to you three speakers. First is Dr. Donald Kaberuka, President of the African Development Bank. He will be together with Dr. Margaret Chan, followed by His Excellency later Hamdi Jabal, the Prime Minister of Tunisia. Thank you for your attention. So I take this opportunity to welcome Dr. Kaberuka, the President of the African Development Bank. You are welcome.